Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I have this bomb highlighted wig from Yolissa Hair. I'm super obsessed. I really wanted to try this color and it's more lighter than any other highlight wig that I've tried. Like it's already pre-colored. It's so pretty and this I believe is in 26 inches. Uh, pretty long and HD lace of course you can see how melted it is. It was really really easy to work with I don't even think you have to bleach the knots if you're any darker than me because it came in like a brown color but I did bleach the knots off camera and Yeah, that's literally it. There's nothing bad to say about this so far so good. It came styled already I just touched up the front and that was not Hard at all but if you guys want to see how I installed this wig then keep on watching and I'll put all of the information in the description down below so yeah let's go with the video okay so I've already done the bob cap method like I usually do and here is the wig it's so pretty I'm really really excited like the blondes are super super blonde and that's really hard to come by it's like almost white honestly and the lace is very very nice here is the face, super clear, like it's like the actual HD I would say, not like the white tinted kind or anything. And here is how it fits. I feel like it fits me better than most wigs. I don't have to, I don't think I'm going to have to cut anything. And this is in 20... 26 inches and I already have the curls. I did wash the front when I bleached the knots, but all I have to do is just touch up the front and good to go. So I'm just gonna put some foundation on the lace and then I'll be right back. So here's a closer look of the lace. You can see that it's really good to work with. I love how clear it is and it's gonna be so hot, I can't wait. But now I'm just gonna put the dots where I'm gonna put the glue. I can pretty much see where my um, hairline should start just because I have a tan line already. I'm going to put it closer. Now just to make sure I'm going to clean up the area with some alcohol. And now for glue, I'm going to be using Bolt Hold Active, and I'll do about three layers. So after three layers, and this part's already starting to get dry, so we'll start with that and then match with the top. Alright, so I just cut out the ears, and I'm going to pin everything up before putting the locking down. The glue is not drying as fast as it would back home, but I'm still gonna make this work. So far, so good. And I'm gonna go in sections and use um, an eye razor. I'm gonna switch the scissors now because this is a little tricky. more of my foundation just so that it can match even better. And I'm just going to make sure all the hairs are back. And I'm going to put some hairspray to melt it even more. And I'm using the Fantasia hairspray, the one I always use. And then one 
once again melt. Perfect. And now while this is melting, I'm just gonna hot comb everything to the side that I want my side part, if that makes sense. I'm gonna hot comb everything in this direction. It's so funny when I do my clients and they want a side part on this side, I always start with this side and work my way through like this, but they get scared because they think I'm doing it this way. It's funny. I'm using my Edge Booster Wax Stick. I don't think I'm going to do a part part. It's probably going to be more like a messy part. I think. The tracks kind of come high, but it's okay, I think. Alright, this should be dry right now. It's so, so melted. It's so good, love it. Alright, now for the baby hairs, I want them to stand out. And I have something in mind. I'm not going to pluck them too much just because I still want them to be on the bigger side. Just a little bit. I might even pluck them after, after I stop them. Okay, now I'm going to cut them. I am leaving them pretty long. Using my K&K flat iron, I'm going to curl them outwards. Using my a lot of body mousse, I'm gonna shape the edges and then wrap them. This is just to shape them, I'm not gonna them like this. I don't think. Okay, and quickly wrap it. While this is doing this thing, I'm going to curl the front, like the frontal, just whatever is kind of frizzy, but it's still pretty good. This is the Wood Dealer Thermal Silkening Spray. It smells so good. And I don't know, I was thinking of cutting more layers. I'm not sure. I'm going to use this um, layering brush. And I'm just going to do large curls and make them go backwards. I'm using my hot tools curling iron. I think I have to be careful with how much I'm moving my wrist because my wrist is starting to hurt. That's scary. Away from my face. About like a couple more minutes, I'll take this off and pretty much be done. Okay, the edges should be good to go. Time for the big reveal. I think I'm gonna have to cut it just a bit shorter. 
just going to pop my stuff in. It's okay. And now I'm just going to cut them a bit shorter. See something like that. you would try this hair out and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video.